Continuing on the thread of uh, sort of generating data, uh, there's an inbuilt function to create se sequential numbers. So I've used sort of random numbers, and you know you've got the object ID there, um, and um, I've shown you how to generate random numbers, and there's a couple more videos coming on that as well. But just to create a straightforward sort of simple um, one to whatever, uh, if you go to Data design fields. Yeah, it's out of field. Just a sequence. Uh, keep it as long. It's fine. Let's put that as uh, sec sequence number. Long. Long is fine. Uh, let's get save. And then we'll use the calculate field um, option. Let's go to sequence number, right click, go to calculate field, just double click, make it massive. Now um, you can see I've already just done this. Um, let's make sure the right field is selected. Yep, sequence number. And uh, the code block, well, it's actually in here, it's in the helper, use a helper. If you press S, it will jump straight to the first S, which is sequential number. There's loads in there, there's some good stuff in there to check out anyway. So click on sequential number, and sure enough, it fills in everything. It's filled in the sort of the def, def name, and then put the def there, um, and put the little bit of um, Python code there for you. So as you can see, it's using the sort of rec number record. Uh, you can validate if you want, press OK, and now we'll get, uh, there's only 10 records in this file, but you'll see 1 to 10, and that's written to the geodatabase. Hope you find that, and, and is independent of object ID. Hope you find that useful.